name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with GoEngineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to use, use a new feature in SOLIDWORKS simulation called the Mesh Sectioning feature. Here I have a Fender Eliminator part that I designed and I want to run an analysis and see how strong this part is. Once you've created your mesh, right click on the mesh folder and select Create Mesh Plot. Once that feature appears, we can select from three different display types, aspect ratio, Jacobian points, or the mesh itself. In this case, we'll stick to the mesh plot. Hit the green check, and we'll see the mesh quality folder under mesh. In order to use the mesh sectioning, we have to right click on the mesh quality plot, and SOLIDWORKS simulation opens up the mesh sectioning feature. Here I can select what plane to use as a reference. I can also use a cylinder for my reference. And either of those selections, I can dynamically move my arrow and it gives me a good idea of how the elements are just being distributed within the part and not just on the surface. We can also get to the mesh sectioning tool uh, from the results folder. Once the study is uh, done running, right click on your uh, plot and select mesh sectioning. Again, you're provi provided with the same arrow and uh, the reference planes to select from. And once you move this arrow dynamically, you can see uh, what's happening within the model. It also gives you a good idea of where, um, what, what color distribution is happening within the model and uh, how, uh, and if you need more uh, mesh control in certain areas, if there is a drastic color change, uh, we can apply some more mesh control and uh, fix those areas accordingly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.